lovelies so i'm starting off this vlog preparing for my little mini trip out of town i was able to book a nail appointment one day before leaving to get the dolliest set of my whole entire life i just love 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 how my nails came out you guys will see but you can tell even by the foundation that these nails are about to be so gorgeous I've been really prioritizing getting my nails done lately because I feel like it makes outfits look so much cuter. So I've been on quite the routine with trying to get them done every month and they always come out so lovely thanks to my nail tech. These are just the cutest nails I've ever had on my hands in my whole life. Like just look at the details. Get into the polka dots. This hand is my favorite though because I really like this bow charm with this rose. Ugh, it's to die for. Got done packing and I just want to take a second to appreciate how cute my luggage looks. But not everything around it, just the luggage. <laughs> I'm traveling by myself this time and it's only right that I feed into my Delulu and bring my Yanjun photo card. Also this little plushie is going to be my companion for the day. She's so cute and I got her matching with my friend Kayla, who I'm about to go see today. I can't believe I'm finally getting around to it. I'm gonna be able to do so much shopping. Okay, so I have to interrupt this video real quick to show you guys the cutest package that I got from Cider right before I started planning out outfits for this video. So spoiler alert, thanks to this haul, I was able to create my favorite outfit out of the two that I wore on this trip. They sent me stuff from their spring 2024 collection and I posted the pictures on Instagram and everyone was so obsessed with the shoes. Wait till you guys see the entire package. This whole collection in general is just so ballerina chic, but it has like an athletic casual hint to it which I really love so much. Not to mention their wide size range and being an affordable brand. To start off, this adorable kitten tee that I'm wearing is from Cider. Can we just take a second to appreciate the fit of this? This type of neckline just makes this whole area feel like an accessory and I really adore that. This set right here is the coziest, most adorable thing ever. Guys, I literally screamed when I saw this bow detail in the back. Literally losing my mind over this. The matching jacket that it comes with. I'll probably wear this zip down and do like a lacy undershirt moment. Next, I have these white lace tights that I ended up wearing and styling later on in this video. This is one of those accessories that do so much for your outfit. I would have never thought to buy like tights that kind of like stop before your ankles. I would have just gotten full length tights, but something about wearing these with lace up ballet heels, I feel like it added so much more cuteness to my look. Next thing I have is this black lace top, but it comes with two parts, I believe. I just remember being so fascinated by this because it has like this black lace tube top, like very classic, very cute, but it also has this tieable shirt that you wear over it. I just love that. I know that these would look so cute together. show you guys my favorite part aka the shoes now just look at these beauties it's such a true ballerina shade of pink it was quite literally love at first sight with these these are probably my new favorite pair of shoes and i was walking around in these while like shopping so you know that they're comfortable i just love that they did this like block type of thick heel it definitely does a lot for the comfort and it's super super aesthetically cute as well and luckily for me i got them in a few more colors these are the black ones and guys it's like wow they also sent me them in this ivory gold color i also have this off shoulder pink and black dress from them this really puts a spin on the off shoulder trend that we see so much like the sleeves on this kind of flare out which i thought was so cute they did not leave out the accessories 
they sent this super cute black bow with an adorable rose in the middle and then they sent me like four of these little lace bow clips that i have been wearing so much i'm not gonna lie i can't even find the other three because i've been like hooking them to my pants real quick and of course to my hair these are just such a good thing to have like you'll be so surprised at what you can accessorize with just a tiny bow that has a clip like this even on like things that have a spaghetti strap just putting a little bow yeah i think that was everything that i'm gonna be showing you guys from cider today wasn't everything so adorable though the second outfit i wear you guys will see how i style those tights and the super cute heels so yeah thank you cider for everything i can't wait to style these pieces for this upcoming spring okay i'll get on to the rest of the video now my airport fit is giving roblox character <laughs> Bestie. Guys, I have my mind set on this being the first thing I eat as soon as I land. There's so many Korean chicken and pizza restaurants in the area, but I tried this once and I literally don't want to try anything else. The next day, we woke up super early and got ready because we have a whole bucket list of places that we need to hit in these couple of days. Every single minute counted, so we were on go. This is the first cafe that we went to in our trip. It was called The Cream, and I've honestly never seen anything like it. It was so pretty and modern inside with high ceilings. It was just such a cozy, nice atmosphere. Guys, let me know if we're loving the blonde or not. I feel like this was such a step out of my comfort zone, and it didn't take until I was all done up with my makeup to really appreciate it. This looks so cute. I'm obsessed with your drink and just everything. It looks really good. Cheers to our first, our second meal. Absolutely more of a photo spot though because this was not one of the more like delicious foods that we enjoyed. Next we hit up Tesla Life which is a store with everything Japanese that you can imagine. They have snacks and cosmetics, houseware, stuff like that. It's super, super cool. And this place wasn't open last time I was here, so I was so looking forward to this part of the trip. Oh, it's a bread mold. Bye. I need all of this. I kind of need this. I wanted a bottle of water and the only option was this Sanrio themed one and I'm so not complaining about it. I left with my cute little pickups and then we headed to this photo booth room like the ones that are in Korea and guys, oh my gosh. I was probably freaking out for five minutes before we even did anything in here. Aww. It was just so perfect. They had so many accessory options and everybody had their pictures posted up on the wall, but we left with all of ours. Those costed way too much money. So cute. Okay, let's do the next one. Let me get my card. The mini ears. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. And they even had a photo booth option to take a picture with Sana from Twice. She's literally my sister in my head, so I had to make sure our photos were on point. I redid the whole photo set because they just had to be perfect for Sana. I look like a literal fool stumbling around trying to stand on the stool to get within the view. Anything for the perfect photo, okay? This is 
so fun. dreaming about trying those super fluffy pancakes that are all over social media so we went to this place called fluffy fluffy as you can see they had so many variations of souffle pancakes and it was so pretty in here and the sun was shining so bright the strawberry fell off of the pancake and i didn't even realize until after i filmed but i didn't get any footage of me eating it because we finished it in under five minutes it was such a heavenly experience though you guys you have to try it for yourself it was so good at this point we're barely even hungry but we wanted to get our three meals in like i said we had a bucket list so we went to try this ramen place that had the cutest cubicle seating they were kind of like stacked on top of each other never seen anything like this before where should we go here okay oh no oh okay slight we went to the very top because we were so excited, but looking back, I feel so bad for our waiters. <laughs> but the view was so pretty. We could see everything. <laughs> Ooh. I'm gonna take a picture because it's absolutely gorgeous in here. The ramen felt very refreshing. All the ingredients were so fresh. We slurped away and I also got these pot stickers. Struggling with chopsticks in the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> Day two. Ballerina chic today. Shout out to Cider. This brunch restaurant was decorated so elegantly. I was obsessed with the visual of the pink and green flowers with our little matcha lattes. Felt like a literal dream in there. glad we chose this restaurant because it just set the tone for such a great day for us the way it was decorated it wasn't too loud it was just such a nice vibe I, like i actually need to go back and leave a review because the energy there was immaculate before we headed out for the day we realized that there was a japanese bookstore in the area so you guys know we had to check that out and I'm so glad we did because the selection was not like your average Barnes and Nobles, obviously. They had literal Sanrio books imported from Japan. It's like books on the Sanrio designs. No, this is like my personal way. Like literally. This is so cute. I have to stand this book. Stop. This is so cute. Stop. We 
we probably spent the most time here flipping through the little artist picture books that they had and crushing on completely drawn fictional characters, but that's what girlhood is about. I definitely have to make another trip here when I have more things to look for. to another newly opened Japan store. I'm taking advantage and making sure I go to all of these because I do not have these back home and even if it's just a slight difference, each one kind of has different things to offer or specializes in different things. The 100th Japan store. OMG! For example, this one had so many more plushies than the last one that we visited so that was so nice to see. This is so cute! Gee. They even had Hello Kitty playing on the TV, if that's not the cutest thing in the world. Tanghulu. I'm so excited. Look. Monster X was here. So cool. Oh, hard? It is hard. Look. The texture. <laughs> I heard they're really sweet. You're scaring me. I'm reading a book here that I got because the guy on the cover was really cute. So I didn't completely know what to expect. Um. <laughs> place on reels and it looked super yummy so we wanted to check it out it had such a warm homey feeling to it this is probably my favorite place that we ate at Yum. the food was delicious the atmosphere was so nice and the staff were so polite it literally just felt like you were visiting a family member this was the perfect restaurant to end off this trip on and I'm so glad we came here. We'll definitely a thousand percent be back. So I'm back on the plane for my very short flight home. I tried to read for most of it. I was low-key heartbroken to be leaving so soon. I wish I had planned out a little bit longer, but I'm glad that the new things that I did get to do all turned out so nice. And I'm so glad that this gave me something interesting to vlog.
back in my room. I know this scene looks very familiar. <laughs> Thankfully, got back home safely, and now it's time for me to show you guys everything that I got while I was out there. Starting with this adorable bunny Hello Kitty plush keychain. I just love the colors on this. I've been so into cream lately. I feel like the cream and pink color combo is very much my thing right now. And that combo looks so cute with this blonde moment that I have going on. I feel like she looks just like me in a way, so I had to get her. I also got my Melody because we never leave her out. I think this is a cat costume. I just realized they basically like swapped costumes. That's so cute. <laughs> Favorite thing is probably this My Melody hand mirror that I ended up getting. It didn't come with the gems. I actually started to do this last night. I think I need to put way more on it though to like make it completely blinged out. I just love little hand mirrors. They're so girly and cute. And like taking pictures with them is so fun. Like I love them. I also found Neighborhood Story, which I'm so, so happy about. This is like such a comfort anime for me. If you're a fashion lover, like this is going to be the series for you. It's just so girly and cute and so wholesome. And it's by none other than the legend herself. We love Ayazawa over here. I also got this like, it's basically a Sanrio encyclopedia. It's actually so cool. Like it shows you the different lines in the years they come out. Like it's so cute and handy, like especially since phones have that translate feature now, like I'm definitely going to be taking pictures and translating these pages. And also while reading it, I've discovered so many like little random Sanrio characters that I had no idea existed before. On to makeup and skincare related things. I got these Dolly Wink lashes. These are my first pair of Dolly Winks. I've been seeing them for so long and just never got them. Oh, I'm wearing a pair right now, by the way. That's why one of them are gone. But aren't they just so cute? I love how they're subtle, but also get thicker, like, towards the end. And I also got this Can Make Jewelry Shadow. My friends recommended me this one, and I just have to say, it did not disappoint. Like, this is honestly the most glittery thing I've ever put on my eyes. I got around to wearing this almost instantly. And then I got this Can Make cream cheek blush in this like pinky peach color i mix so many blushes honestly so i would say i'm wearing it right now but i'm also wearing like five other blushes right now but it's super cute honestly the thing that turned me on to this was the formula like it just feels so soft and creamy i also got this face mask that i feel like i've known of for so long but never had the luck of finding it like just look how cute the packaging is literally hunting for this i found the devil version before like it's like hello kitty but she's a devil and the packaging is red but never the angel version so i had to get her because it's only right that this packaging whoever designed this needs to get an award for it this is probably the cutest hello kitty has ever looked am i lying and last but not least, I got this my Melody name tag, but y'all tell me why I didn't even get the letters that you're supposed to put like on here to spell out your name. As you can see, it's supposed to be a Japanese letter set that you buy, but I was just there for the vibes because I forgot to even pick it up. So this has no use right now, <laughs> but at least it's cute, right? If you guys want to get this, make sure you get the letters too, because it does not come with it. And I learned that the hard way. So that's the end of this vlog in my complete haul. I hope you guys had fun coming along with me. I've been looking forward to going back and seeing my bestie for so long. Everything was honestly perfect. I'm so happy with how my days turned out and everything that I got along the way. I hope you guys enjoyed every second of it as much as I did. I want to thank Cider once again for the pieces that I used to create one of the looks that you guys saw in today's video. Definitely check out their spring collection if you guys are interested. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.